Welcome to my quiet Daisy life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. What is good, everybody? Back with our girl Daisy in Daisy. And in this series, we're trying to live a quiet life among the killers. It's a public server, but we're trying to live a PVE lifestyle. We built this last time. Let's go fishing at a great fishing spot today. In every episode, we ask questions. Just kind of fun, get to know each other questions. And um, in the following episode, I read those questions. Base is still standing, nice. Free read your answers. Today's question. I like this one. What arcade game do you remember just being the most addicted to? It has to be the arcade where you go. Hmm. Could that be me spawning that in? I doubt it. Now my attention's been captured. I'm just trying to survive. Hopefully we can survive another day today. We'll head through Starry. We'll fill up our water bottle at the lake and use some tablets to purify it and catch some fish at a beautiful lake and we'll loot a little bit along the way maybe kill some zombies but yeah what arcade game it has to be the stand-up arcade in an arcade for me Mortal Kombat it was like the first game that had blood <laughs> that I can remember it was like kinda controversial it's nothing by today's standards but go finish him and if you're at the the battle arena with the bridge you could throw an uppercut and the guy would fall and then like splatter on the ground remember i think that was mortal kombat 1 right that would be mine i was also highly addicted to nba jam the arcade game if i could get to an arcade and play nba jam and i still remember when it came out for super nintendo it must have been and um, I saved up and I got it. And all day at school, all I could think about was getting to NBA Jam. Getting home to NBA Jam. The clock just slowed to a stop. So I could get back to those bobble-headed NBA players. Those were mine. What were yours? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, so there's a huge lake. It's a little ways out here, but we want to stop by and loot a little bit on the way, kill some zombies on the way, maybe get a Nauticola. Don't know if we'll make it back to our shelter today. This might be a field trip. And also, Daisy may take next week off the series and either do Daisy Therapy or Clones Escaping the Lab in Livonia series. So let me know what you'd rather see. Do you want to see Daisy Therapy? where it's a survivor, pops in, pretty busy server, mixes it up with people, goes on an adventure, and just plays DayZ, but on a busy server. Usually die, they die within two or three episodes, and we start another one. We call it DayZ therapy, because it's therapeutic. Or, do you want to see kind of a story-based, obviously a little silly, but we're having fun, escape the lab where some clones escape the lab in Livonia and um, they gotta loot up and get back to the lab and drop a grenade in the generator and stop the production of clones in the lab so yeah what do you want do you miss the old school daisy therapy or do you want something kinda unique and we'll, we'll set daisy just on a little break for maybe a week and then bring it back so Daisy's not gone for good just next week, is what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll change my mind. Like, honestly, if this video just skyrockets for me to like 1,000 or 2,000 views and everybody's chiming in, then I'll just, I, I know I will not stop a boulder as it's rolling downhill. Um, but other than that, if it's just kind of a moderate viewership, we'll take a break from this for a week. Appreciate all of you guys, and I absolutely love playing this series, so we're going to keep it going. Unless, of course, I die today. In which case, we would just start another survivor and um, enjoy that survivor's arc. But when we come back, 
I may take some building supplies and keep going west. Get that third base up. I like this part of the map as we get out here. It gets kind of open territory. There's a huge lake. It is certainly dangerous because any players we see up here are going to be pretty well geared and I don't know that they're going to want to talk or take any chances. They're probably going to pew pew on sight. Yeah, how's your day going so far? I hope this makes your day a little bit better. Have any of you crossed over from Day Z into the Donut and Chills State of Decay 2 series? Because it's similar to this in that we do topics of conversation. It's a little slower paced than most of my Day Z or State of Decay 2 stuff. If you've made that leap over, let me know what you think. If you haven't, give it a try. If it's not your thing, that's okay. Live streams, a lot of live streams going down. I'm going to settle in on a live stream schedule after this week. I'll evaluate what works. Maybe get going on like one or two a week. Nice. Nice. No not a colas yet. A lot of zombies here though, right? I was trying to scan the background. Pile them. Pile them high. Here, chicken. We don't need the chicken. We're fishing more because we like fishing. Ooh. Ooh. A backpack. Any sharpening stone? What do we got over here? Christmas lights. They're untangling them while they were deucing. Or they didn't want to deuce in the dark, which is a reasonable request. Still got these here. These have been here, man. And like I said, they got gear in them. I don't see anything that I need. Don't see anything I need, but we'll leave them here. Yeah, those have been there a minute. I like that they've been here a minute because it kind of speaks to maybe a little... Honestly, there definitely were two groups. I'll grab this rope just in case. Okay, I didn't mean to close the door. The door is loud, man. If that hasn't been tampered with... But I'm saying the people that cruise through here are like me. They don't really need that gear. Let's see if we have an offering we can leave. And I didn't see a well. There might be. I didn't see one here in this town on the map. I see a zombie. There's probably a priest roaming around here somewhere. <laughs> Dropped him. What's he got? A battery? Yeah, we'll take it. Cool spot, man. Let's see what we got. What do we have? Yep, we'll leave our offering. Surrender. There we go. And we salute. Any of you guys? I know Bob does this now. I think A Cup does it. Any of you guys taking that little, um, I don't know, ritual that I do and, and apply it? Any of you doing that now? Okay. 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 All right, that doesn't want to be cross that way. Got nervous. I shouldn't have done that second run there. That was stupid. I actually don't want to go in here because I don't want to get caught in there if someone starts shooting. Wasteland. 
you love the sights and sounds, the wind. You know, my um, kids have been saying a little bit lately, you know, Dad, I kind of think the apocalypse would actually be terrifying. Like, because we glorify it so much. Like, but really, if it happened, I don't think it would be fun. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I think we relish. Why do you think we, we like the fantasy of the apocalypse? I think it's, oh gosh, those things scared me. I think it's the, the guy's making some weird noises. Probably a zombie. It's probably a zombie attacking it, but I need to make sure it's not a player. I have to see it. I think it was this guy. Oh, we got some pigs there. I guess we could do some pork chops. There's a lock over here. Actually, if I were to build another base, I don't know if I have a lock. Three dial. But we'll take it. Those things, that sound is disturbing, isn't it? I got two pieces of beef. I'm full. I want to catch a fish. I think we just keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just let my eye off the ball, and I ruined my firefighter axe. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, that's my bad. Had that firefighter axe for a long time. Ah, that hurts. Well, gives us a new a new goal. Gives us a new goal. Got to take better care of my gear, man. Well, next episode, maybe that's part of what we do. Actually, my pants look pretty wore out too. Let's go in here and fix them. Dang, man! I've had that firefighter axe. for a very long time. But it's life in the apocalypse. It's not always fun, guys. I know it looks fun. Okay, well, we got this hatchet. Let's see what condition it's in. Worn, okay. Got the hatchet, which is a good weapon. It's not a one-shot kill. But it's a good weapon. I don't think there was a fire axe back there. There was a splitting axe. Maybe we go get that splitting axe back there. Maybe the fishing was not in the cards for today, guys. That was pretty good though. Two shots, um, and I'm only carrying this little thing. Maybe we get some pork. We go get that splitting axe. And we cook this up. Yeah, let's see if we can grab that splitting axe. Did I say I want to get that splitting axe? Because if I'm going to do another base build, dude, that was a big mistake. But that's okay. Like I said, the upside is it gives us a mission to run. So next episode, I think, we'll head down into the city, or over to the big city. Maybe we go back to um, our apartment in the city, right? Where was that? Uh, I think it was back here. If we miss it, we miss it. I think it was in that cluster of houses. 
Here we go back to our apartment in the city. We get, I think there's a fire station in that city. And we loot it and we spend a night or two back in our apartment. Let's see if we can get a splitting axe here. Go cook up some foods. Yeah, and with all the live streams and uh, real life stuff, this one might be a bit shorter. I was planning to get over to that lake and catch some fish and then log off over there. But, um, circumstances just changed. Oh, I am thirsty. Can I find some water? Come on. Beef, too much stuff. Let's drop this. Put this on my shoulder. How about we take it in my hands? Okay. Okay. We have a splitting axe now. Not as good as the fire axe, but it's pretty solid. Okay, um... Well, we do need water. So let's, let's, let's head to the lake. Head to the lake. Not sure how many I aggroed, maybe two. It's pretty good. Not as satisfying as the one shot kill. But pretty good. Yeah, I could do some inventory management, throw some of that, those pork chops in the pan. I can't cook them in the pan, I need Need to find another um, gas canister. So that's another thing to keep our eye out for. But we're getting thirsty in the apocalypse. Turns out it's not always fun. Let's go in this greenhouse for a minute. Go upstairs. Kind of get things situated. They're making weird noises. So unsettling. I keep thinking like it's another player. Or my brother. Sniffing. Like a hog. Okay. Let's do that. Let's drop this. We'll eat it now. Just as a way of... Um, Keeping the hydration up a bit. Okay. Make sure I don't leave anything. See, the hydration goes up a bit with it. Oh, well, let's find this lake. Any little body of water along the way. There's one closer, but it's smaller and it's going to be hard to find. I think the simpler route is the winning route for today. But this is like, you know, what the apocalypse might be. You know, you don't live by a body of water. Got to take a trip to get a something as simple as water. Wish I had a, a extra water bottle or two. That's yeah, a little concerning being yellow 
and water at this point. Tempted to check that uh, hunter stand for a canteen. Handguns just laying around. It's life in the north. All these are open, so. All right, this is the part of the episode where I read back your comments from last episode. So make sure you get your comments in on time so I can read them in the next one. Bishop says, seeing how happy that stone oven makes you, you now know and understand how a pristine cookout makes me feel. <laughs> it's an inside joke from our Sunday series, um, the supply drop series in Livonia. If you're not watching that, I'll link it at the end of this episode. It's a fun series. We're having a lot of laughs and some good adventure. Um, cookware, who would have thought, says Bishop. Bob Cadaver, subscribe to his channel big time. Oh my goodness, you had a water bottle all along. Typical sauce, overlooking stuff in your own inventory. Story of my life, pal, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, you ever been looking for your wallet and it's in your pocket the whole time? It was that sort of thing. We've all done it, we've all done it. Where's my phone, I can't find my phone, it's in your pocket. Or worse, it's in your hand. It's become an extension of your being, that happens. Uh, Bishop says, had the water bottle the whole time, LOL, classic sauce, inventories are hard, bro, don't worry. I, I read the uh, sarcasm in that. Java, with my mom being born and raised a Texan, learned how to make some pretty outstanding beef and chicken enchiladas. Also, I've nearly perfected frying turkey. Java, that sounds amazing, all of it. Micah says, I cook a killer plate of meth. I mean, it's like glass with a purity level of, wait, is this going out over YouTube? I mean, uh, hot dogs. I cook hot dogs. <laughs> you had me rolling, Micah. You had me rolling because the beginning, I'm like, how can I read this out loud? I might skip this one. And then you twisted it to hot dogs. That was too funny. Wayne, if you're traveling and you see someone scratch their beard, it means you have been marked. Stay safe. Hmm. Les says, my cooking isn't overly exciting, but I do make a nice, cheap, and easy dinner from pasta, creamy chicken soup, and cheese. It tastes nice and fills you up good. Sounds like a great meal on a cold day, a rainy day, or snowy day. It sounds amazing. Wayne, cozy ending. Yes, yes, yes. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not going to share that idea yet, but I have an idea. Some, I have a lot of ideas. Some are really bad. Others are okay. Joe, spent many years as a line cook, so I can cook almost anything. My favorite thing to make is artesian bread from scratch where I catch my own yeast. Also, really good at making Asian food. Wow, that's interesting. Steve says, Steven says, Daisy and Daisy. Philip says, good luck, Daisy. Ian, Ian, my buddy from way back. Protector of lucky. I am a curry guy. My best curries are ones where I make everything from scratch. It takes freaking ages, so I don't make from scratch curries very often, but they are amazing. It does sound really good. Really good, yep. And uh, Les, you responded to that, as did I. I like when you guys respond to each other. That makes me happy, makes me happy. I lost my place, okay. Wayne says, mate, hardcore Easter here. It won't stop raining, no solar. You know I'm doing Daisy for real. Happy Easter. Um, so, hey, man, stay safe out there. DCWL Gaming, look him up, subscribe, follow DCL Gaming, DCWL Gaming uh, 2416. I'm also loving your videos, and DCWL Gaming is good, and I love my steaks medium rare, but I fell in love with sushi, and now I've learned how to make them myself. That's crazy, making sushi rolls yourself. KCC, uh, KC Colossal says the best thing i cook is breakfast yeah how'd i overlook breakfast eggs bacon french toast taters dang breakfast is good yes 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 scorpion scrambled eggs lisa homemade pizza pizza shop style cheesecake wow that sounds good guys it sounds great ashes my pork chops on the grill i have people who love them bob says nice oven Ashes says, Daisy. Bob says, make a pretty good steak on a grill. My smoked ribs are pretty good. I've heard all about them, Bob. It's all over town. Tommy says, hey, buddy, I'm enjoying this game very much. So good. Hey, thank you so much, Tommy, for always thumbs upping and always commenting. You're such a faithful, loyal sub. I appreciate you. Lisa, speaking of loyal subscribers, you actually can't store stuff in it. The fireplace will burn it up. Yeah, I think if you don't use it for fire, you could. But yeah, it's, it's risky. Don't store your grenades in there. Let's just say that. Steven says, I'd say the best thing I cook 
is a dish my mom makes and it's fried hamburger and ice oh uh, okay fried hamburger and cream of chicken soup into deep baking pan and add biscuits on top of them throw it all in the oven until the biscuits are done wow wow this is pretty good that's wild that sounds good wayne i'm glad you never tied my surname i might change it to neo or smith haven't chosen which one yet purple which pill yet? Purple, okay. <laughs> Getting in the weeds pretty thick there, Wayne, with the uh, Matrix. That's awesome. OG, uh, we didn't take much gear, talking about our raid. He goes, ha, speak for yourself. And OG, you have another comment here, man. And uh, I'm not going to read your other one just out of respect for you. Because um, sometimes, you know, you're talking to me. And nothing inappropriate or wild. Everything on the up and up. Um, but that's just really personal. And if people want to read it, I know you posted it so uh, people can go share. It is funny, um, but I also feel your pain, man. And so hang in there. Keep your head up. Uh, I consider ourselves good friends. I'd love to grab lunch with you in real life sometime and get to know you better, OG. You uh, have been a blessing to me, so I'll just I'll leave it at that. And uh, keep your head up, man. You're an awesome guy and a great part of this community. Seriously, I mean that, OG. Seriously. I wish we had more time to game together. All right, y'all, that's the comments. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Get yours in for this episode. And we're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. Oh, I almost forgot. Put RIPs in the comment for my axe. RIP and then the axe. Because then people who don't watch the whole thing will think I died and it will be funny. Also, if you're looking for a great book, since I took a long walk to water, there's a book called A Long Walk to Water. You can read it in one sitting. Inspirational. A Long Walk to Water. All right, that's it. Now we'll keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. I want to take a moment and show you the merch store. Make every day a little bit more fun, get some cool gear. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be caught out in the apocalypse unless I was wearing a We Carry the Fire hoodie, or Daisy Therapy t-shirt, or an oldie mug. The only thing more fun than playing apocalypse games or watching these videos is doing those same activities while wearing the gear. So check out the merch store linked below. I appreciate everything you do, and I'm glad you're a part of this community.